Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? <laughs> I was just sitting in here, you know, you know, thinking in my room, you know, wondering, you know, really what to do. I mean, I really don't know what to do, really, but I was thinking on some things last night and I know we can't really talk much about it um, due to internet, man, YouTube policies and everything else. But the way things are going to come down to is the book of Revelations out of the Bible. Stuff are already or is already happening. The book of Revelations, read up on it, study it. It'll tell you what is happening out there in this world today. So I remember when I was a kid, I remember reading up on some of it. And I remember it saying churches are closing due to a pandemic or due to a virus plague or whatever some type of plague that's what they call it in the Bible well that's already happened well then they want to say the cost of everything is going to go up that's already happened Um, businesses will be closing down. People will get poorer and poorer. That's already happened. <laughs> and the thing of it is, my point of view, I know I didn't really comb my hair this morning, and I know I should probably should have, but it's like I just want to get this topic out of the way. If what I think is what's coming up next, the, the two main things, what is coming up next? It ain't gonna be a holy war, that'll be last. The Holy War will be last. And whoever survives the Holy War, they are the ones that bring the next people to population. But my thing of it is, what's going to be coming next of our country and all other countries is that since everybody's getting the so thing that they stick in the arm and they stick in the arm where do you get it where do you get it the vaccine which I've already got <laughs> I mean it don't make you sick or anything like that but I went on ahead and got it because everybody was telling me to do it and well, I was reading up on some things in the book of Revelations. Well, they already got the man they already got the mandate for the shots. Well next they're gonna end up putting chips in us. They're gonna end up putting chips in us. I'm not talking about the cell phones that we carry around when they track us. They already do track us. But they're going to come put a chip in us eventually. And everybody's going to have to get one no matter what. But, and then you wonder why all of the Walmarts are closing down in some states. Well, all the Walmarts are closing down because 
they're going to be turning them into refugee camps for survivors of the new world order. And the thing it is that if you take the chip, if you take the chip, when that time comes, when they say everybody's gonna have to get chips in them, where we can track every move you make, well, you already do that enough with our cell phones. Why do you need to go and put a chip in us to track us down? That's what I was thinking in that part on the book of Revelations. And it's going to come down to it. Before the Holy War. Before the Holy War. Reason why I say that is. <laughs> because it's the mark of the beast. The chip is the mark of the beast. And. What I'm saying is, guys, you better wake up because, you know, I see the end of time coming really, really, really quick. I mean, I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my heart. I can feel it in my soul. You know, I can feel it in everything. You know, you can call me crazy. If you just look up at the news, how it's going every day when you see it on the news, now they quit talking about the virus. They quit talking about the virus. They slowed down on that. Because there ain't really no point in talking about it anymore. Um, now their big deal is Russia and Ukraine and everything. and Which, if my opinion is, If we get involved with Ukraine, against Russia, we're next. I said, if we get involved with Ukraine and be focused on Ukraine, I'm not saying not to help them. I'm not saying not to help them at all. But if we get involved with Ukraine and have our eyes just locked on Ukraine, what's going to happen is that either three other countries, three other countries are against us right now. One, Russia. Two, China. Because China was the one that released the thing all over around the world that's causing everybody to die. And then, four, then you got North Korea and Sung Hyun Kim, the one that doesn't like the United States of America. You know, we're going to be so focused on Ukraine, and we're going to have our eyes off our enemies, off our enemy, and the thing of it is, They'll see that we have our guard down, and they'll strike. What I want to say is, is that, you know, we help other countries out. We help other countries out when they need it, because they call for us and they come whining to us, saying, "Hey, we need your help." No, 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 and they start whining. They start whining and stuff, crying like a baby and everything. Come running to us saying, hey, we need your help. We'll help you out if you do this. You know, we'll work something out if you, you know, they start crying and everything in front of everybody and, you know, asking for our help. But what I want to say is, when the Twin Towers got hit, did other countries come to our aid? Did other countries come to our aid. No. They fucking stayed out of them. 
Why? Because they were smart. You know, if we would stay out of our other country's businesses when we don't need to be in um, other countries' businesses, they need to, you know, they need to just be able to stay out of somebody's business and out of other countries' business. But what started this was President Bush. Was was they started the war over the oil rigs in in Afghanistan. I said that's the whole reason why he sent the troops over there was for the oil rigs. But yeah, Bush is what what started it. Started this whole mess. Yeah, Bush was what started this whole mess. If he, if we would have just learned to stay out of other countries, don't go in there, start snooping around shit. Just deal with our country. Just deal with us. The United States of America. And I'm proud of being American too. But what I'm saying is that we need to start making our own shit. Our own products. Our own electronics. Our own stuff. Not having it made by a foreign country. Shipping it over here. Where they get profit off of it. Because they sell it at a low rate price and half the time it don't work right when you want it to work right <laughs> all it is is trade trade business trade business marketing that's the only reason why we're helping other countries that's the only reason why we're getting involved with other countries when we don't need to be in other countries We don't need to be snooping around in other countries. That's all I'm saying. That's just my opinion. And I have a right to have my own opinion on things. You may, you guys may not agree with me, but with the whole thing of Russia and Ukraine, you know, with Putin ended up attacking a nuke, um, uh, nuclear plant in Ukraine um, before it happens before the holy war and the book of revelation it's going to come down to everybody being in martial law it's going to come down to everybody getting the chip in them being controlled now, I'm not talking about a cell phone even though they track us enough on that <laughs> but then the time is coming that's all I'm saying um just hope you're ready just hope you're all ready because if you read out the bible a lot I said I do sometimes <laughs> when when I know something's gonna go down and I need a word of wisdom and once in a while, I mean, I do read up on it, but just to get information, because usually sometimes the news don't really give it the information what you want to hear. <laughs> well, I go to the internet for information. I have friends that give me information. I, you know, I go back to the Bible and get information from that. And, you know, if you do your research and everything, Time is coming. Time is coming really, really quick. And everybody just needs to wake up. Time is coming really, really, really quick. And everybody needs to wake up and smell the coffee, smell the soda, whatever it is. You know, food shortages is already happening. Um, they're starting to... Slow down on food process. 
And if I were you, I would just learn to stock up on shit and everything. You know, stock up as much as you can. And, because what's going to happen, it's like, we're going to have to go out either one, start shooting deer, or go hunting for food. I said that's going to be our next goal that we're going to have to end up doing if they start getting low on food supplies. I mean, literally. And then stock up on guns, ammo, whatever you may need, you know, for protection. Because it's, it's going to come down. It's going to come down to it. It's going to come down to it because the way I see it is that it's going to come down to it that the end of time it's coming close, guys. The end of time is coming close, and I feel it. It ain't going to be a holy war yet, but it's going to be the next two things. It's going to be martial law. Actually, no, it's going to be the chip burst, the martial law, and then after that, it's going to be the holy war. And everybody's going to be fighting. The holy war is World War Three. That's the Holy War. So, just be prepared, you know, when that time comes. 7th on 4, signing out. Hope you all like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But, I just had to say on what I had to say about what's going on. Get things off my mind. Um, I hadn't really been sleeping all that well because <laughs> basically everything that's going on in this world and that's the reason why I try not to watch the news that much. And that's just my thing. And I'm going to get me a haircut. I'm going to get changed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.